Hello and welcome to this tutorial on advanced lathing in Blender 2.8. My name is Hayden Falzon from falzonfantasy.com and let's get started. Now, if you haven't already, you may want to go back and see my basic lathing tutorial. To get started, I'm going to create a basic pattern. It can be anything. I'm going to create a almost weave-like pattern, so I'm going to create it from a couple of planes. So I've created this sort of pattern here, and it isn't anything fancy. I've made sure that I've left a bit off the side and a bit off the top, so that when we lathe it, it can overlap with each other. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to create a curve, a bezier curve, and then I'm going to rotate that on the Y axis. I'm going to grab this and bring my point up to here. Now I'm going to select my mesh again, drop down to the modifiers menu, add a curve modifier and apply it to that Bezier curve. As you can see, it's going to deform it in a really weird way. I'm just going to set the deformation axis to Z. Now to fix this problem up here, we're just going to go into our curve, go into edit mode, select both our segments and switch the direction. So you can see now that the base, well, it's where it should be and it follows the curve more or less. Next, I'm going to add a array modifier and it's going to be up in one Y space, I mean Z space, and I'm going to make sure that the modifier is above the curve modifier. Then I want to just scale down my texture so it's quite small. And I'm going to reduce the offset just a bit so that it's even. Excellent. Now, if I do fit curve and select Bezier curve, it's only going to do two because we haven't assigned the scale. Now that we've assigned the scale, it should fit to the curve no matter how large the curve gets. So, for example, if I stretch the curve more, it will generate more now that I've assigned it to the correct scale. Excellent. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another modifier, another array modifier. So we're going to come down here to array. And we're going to keep the settings roughly the same. I'm just going to decrease the offset just a little bit. But I can't just keep on adding that because we're not going to get that curve that we want. So in order to achieve a lathing effect, I'm going to create a new empty, a plain axis. Then I'm going to go down to the last array modifier, check object offset and select the empty. Now, when we move the empty, this array should follow course. So I'm just going to bump it up a little bit and then I'm going to manipulate the empty so that we're getting a lathing effect. Now that we have our lathing effect in place, we can scale up the relative offset to kind of densify our mesh a little bit or alternatively, we can just change the rotation of the empty. We now have a quite good lathing effect except for this part here. Uh, but that's an easy fix. That's just because of the way we have set up our empty. So I'm just going to manipulate it so that it's now going to combine more or less. It's not an exact science, but it gets the job done. And then I'm just going to rotate it just a bit more just so that our end connects up. Excellent. So there we have it. We're pretty much done at this point. If I select my Bezier curve now, 
and manipulate it, you should see that the curve and our pattern is in keeping with our design. We can generate some really interesting meshes from this technique. I'm also going to add a solidify modifier just to give it a bit of thickness. And there we have it. We have an advanced lathing technique for use in Blender where we're not using the screw but we're using a array modifier with an object offset. The next step of animating it is a rather straightforward task. All that you have to do is you have to make sure that the empty and the object itself is moving at the same time in the same space. A good idea would be to connect them together and parent them to either themselves or an empty. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that it's been informative and I hope that you've learned something and you put it to good use. If you'd like to be notified on a new video's release, please be sure to hit that bell button because being subscribed no longer actually means you're going to be notified. Thank you so much for watching. This is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com signing off.